This summer, we'll see the election of a new Mohawk Council of Gahnawage. And on Saturday, April 25th, the community was asked to select a electoral officer for the proceedings. 178 community members turned up and 108 of those voted for Dwayne Kirby. We asked him for some reaction and as well, he makes some announcements on some important dates. I've always been a participant in the uh, Mohawk Council elections since uh, being an adult. <laughs> and uh, it's always sort of been a, well, I've watched the past electoral officers uh, observed how they conducted themselves and of course you know, being married into a, a political, politically active family right. uh, was sort of drawn to it. I just at back in the day and just never pictured that I would uh, be standing here doing this. Uh, yeah. So as uh, time came available to uh, consider it, uh, I decided that this year I'm able to commit. So let me ask the community for this task and uh, I was uh, awarded it at, at the election and, uh, and I'm very honored to be standing here as the electoral officer for the 2015 elections. Uh, I've, I've chosen Kathy Jacobs to be the electoral officer assistant right. and uh, her and I have set the election schedule for the 2015 Mohawk Council elections. They are as follows. Saturday, May the 9th will be nomination day at the Ganawage Services Complex lobby. So from uh, 10 a.m. till 12 noon, we'll be accepting your nominations. The next function will be, of course, well, the following week we'll have the official list verified and uh, made, made official to the public. After that will be the candidates night, which will follow on Tuesday, June the 9th at the Knights of Columbus Hall. And we're looking at uh, starting that around 6.30 p.m. till 10.30 thereabouts. And finally, the election day, Mohawk Council election day will be Saturday, June the 20th at the Garunya Nuhat School Gym from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Traditionally, the, uh, the 4th of July weekend was, re was reserved for council elections, for Mohawk council elections, uh, largely due to the fact that in the past, uh, a large contingent, contingent of the council chiefs were uh, iron workers working away. And so that weekend was uh, a perfect time to come home and run in the election and have you know the family members come home and, and vote at the same time. So with that thought in mind, looking over the, the history of our community, uh, you know, not to minimize the, uh, the iron working trade or industry, but the trend has been lesser and lesser in terms of it being, iron workers being seeking seats on council or seeking to be elected to grand chief or, or council chief. So I thought, let's try to be a little innovative and uh, We'll, we'll shift, we'll shift the, the elections a little earlier, which is in accordance with the, the election law. And we had all our dates uh, prescribed as such, so that uh, well, we'll try something different. And, and the hopes is that maybe the electoral participant will increase due to the fact that the community will still be functioning, school will just be ending, we're all still planted here and nobody has planned their summer vacations. And with, with that thought in mind, with all in respects to the, uh, the law as well.